it's been a struggle ever since. I never imagined that I would get up one day and I would gamble and I wouldn't be able to stop. I didn't see how it was possible. Growing up, my mother was always home alone. My father was an entrepreneur and he was always on the road. I was the middle child between two daughters. My mother would drink when my father wasn't around, I think to handle the pressure of raising us and also the loneliness of when he wasn't around. When my mother drank, she would become aggressive, almost like a different person. She would have her first few drinks while she was making dinner. When my father was home, all they did was argue. I don't think he could cope with my mother's drinking and the three of us girls at home. He would always escape to the safest place he knew, which was the bedding shop. My mother and her addiction to alcohol kept him out of the bars at least. I never had a relationship with my father until he started bringing me along to football games. And actually, the first thing we would do was stop off at the betting shop before we went. My dad would even let me pick the team that we were going to place the bet on. It became a thing that we would do together and how we would spend time, and I craved that from him. We became best friends, and the two of us shared in our addiction of gambling. When my father died, I couldn't handle it. I threw myself into the one thing that I knew had brought us together and never looked back. The last thing my father said to my husband before he passed away was don't let Maddie go down the same room. It was almost as though he knew what he brought me into and couldn't save me because he couldn't even save himself. My husband Derek was working long hours. And I was experiencing extreme grief and I needed a distraction from being at home alone all day. I was home alone all day with nothing better to do. And one day I just opened my laptop and an advertisement popped up and I ended up going on to a gambling website. I guess it made me feel close to my dad in a way. I spent a lot of money very quickly in the first day. But when I got my first win, it was such a quick thrill and excitement. It seemed almost too easy. Like the numbers on the screen weren't real, they were just numbers. Like it wasn't actual reality that I was spending my money. Before I knew it, I was accessing the site daily. I really quickly racked up 10 grand on a credit card. It's crazy losing 10 grand on a credit card. Almost made it easier than losing my dad. I would get secret accounts and secret bank cards and credit cards that I could use to spread around um, the money I was spending and so it wouldn't show up in our accounts and it wouldn't be overly suspicious to my husband. Our marriage suffered because I would spend the evenings when Derek came home on the laptop. I wouldn't engage with him, I wouldn't ask him how his day had been. It was my be all and end all. Lying never naturally came to me, but I was lying every day to my family and to my friends. Derek would ask me what I'd done during the day and I would lie and say that I'd been grocery shopping or I'd been out doing things and really I'd been at home all day gambling on the laptop. It was dominating my whole mind. Every day I would tell myself a lie that this is the day. I'm gonna win it all back and it would all be worth it. Ironically, I never even enjoyed the gambling. What initially was a thrill quickly became just for about fulfilling a need. And that if I didn't do it, I would just feel emptiness. I tried and failed to stop numerous times. Sometimes I would go a couple of months not doing it, but whenever I felt lonely or emotional, it would creep back in and before I knew it, I would have the laptop open and I would be spending money I didn't have again. It wasn't until some family members and friends approached Derek with concern after I'd asked them out of desperation for some money to borrow. Derek became suspicious and confronted me. He'd never asked me questions before about our finances. I was always the one who handled them and he always trusted me. I guess that trust I abused because I reassured him that there was nothing to worry about 
and I purely just asked because his wage had come in slower that month and he needed to pay off the bills so that they wouldn't run over. While Derek was at work, I started getting threatening letters and emails from landlords and loan sharks that I owed money to. Things would come in saying that it was a final notice and we'd gone into overdraft and I would just take them and stash them away, almost as if that, if I couldn't see them, it wasn't real and it wasn't happening. Of course, to soothe and reassure myself, I would turn to the one thing I knew that was gambling. It made me feel like if I just went on this one last time, I would be able to fix it. And that everything would be okay if I just finally got my big win. And almost like the one thing that got me in would get me out, which of course wasn't the case. It wasn't until our anniversary that Derek went to the bank and tried to take money out to take us on our dream holiday. He came back in a rage and was accusing me, asking where the 20 grand that we'd saved was gone. At first I acted like I had no idea, but he knew something wasn't right. I'd been acting strange for months and I think he'd just put it down to grief, but now he knew there was something more sinister. He demanded I explain where it had gone and I had to come clean to him that I had gambled it all. Derek couldn't believe how selfish I'd been and neither could I. He told me if I didn't get help that he'd never be able to forgive me for all the lies and deceit. People wondered how I never knew that my wife owed so much. But everyone else was talking about her behind my back. In fact, that's how it became a reality. My family and friends heard and then broke the news to me. I was just one year married, saving extremely hard for our dream vacation. I thought she was too. The signs were there. I had just become so used to them that they were not as blatant as somebody looking from the outside in. Basically, she has been borrowing money from my parents secretly, using me as an excuse. They thought they were helping their son, but in reality my marriage was not what I really expected. I was constantly managing difficult money issues. She always held reasonable explanation to what was causing them. He told me I was just like my father. And he couldn't understand what had made me do this and go so far about it. I didn't feel like I could tell anyone. I just felt shame that I was doing this to myself and to my husband and our family and our future every day.